to my wonderful and amiable listeners, wherever you might be listening from. Welcome to today's news. The news headline. United Kingdom courts of appeal. Yes, indigenous people of Biafra leader Mazi Oinilam de Kano's extraordinary rendition suit. United Kingdom Court of Appeal, yes, ignores people of Biafra leader Mazi Oinilam de Kano's extraordinary rendition suit. Come with me as I give you the news in full details. The United Kingdom Court of Appeal is currently hearing the appeal of the detained leader of the indigenous people of Biafra. Mazi Oyindunam de Kanu's extraordinary rendition. It was reported in May that the United Kingdom Court of Appeal fixed June 22, 2023 to hear the appeal. On Thursday, Mazi Oyindunam de Kanu's special counsel, Barista Aloy Jimako, when contacted by Sarah reporters, gave the background of the ongoing hearing in London. Ijimako said in an order on the 8th of May 2023, Lord Justice Lewis, a senior British court of appeal judge, granted the family of Manzi Oyindunam de Kanu permission to appeal the United Kingdom High Court judgment that found that the British authorities could lawfully evade reaching any conclusion of whether Mr. Oyindunam de Kanu has been thought judge subjected to extraordinary rendition and arbitrarily detained. It will be recalled that in a ruling on the 23rd of March 2023, the United Kingdom High Court has declined Marty Oyindunam de Kano's family suit for judicial review of the failure of British government to reach a firm view in Inam de Kano's extraordinary rendition. The earlier ruling prompted an application for leave to appeal to the British Court of Appeal by the Bindman. The lead counsel representing Mazi Oyindun and the Kano's family in the case. While assuming the jurisdiction over the appeal, Lord Justice Lewis of the Court Appeals noted that the grounds of the appeal raise important issues concerning the scope of the obligation on the respondent in relation to the request for consular assistance in, Brit- in respect of British nationals detained abroad and the proper interpretation and application of the decision of the Court of Appeal in Ar- Abbasi versus Secretary of the State for the Foreign and Commonwealth Office. For those reasons, there is a compelling reason for the appeal to be heard within the meaning of CPR 52.6 1B permission is granted to all three grounds. And citing the urgency arising from the continued solitary confinement of Manzi Oyindunam de Kano, the Court of Appeal ordered that the hearing of appeal be expedited. According to the hearing, the hearing was listed for Thursday, 22nd of June 2023 and is currently underway. It was reported that Manzi Oyindunam de Kano remained in solitary confinement at the detention facility of the Nigerian Secret Police, the Department of State Services, DSS, since it was renditioned from Kenya in 2021. Although the Nigerian government has not officially disclosed where its security agencies abducted in Amdekano, it has been reported that the Court of Appeal, Abuja Division, had on the 13th of October 2022, discharged Mazi Oyun in of the 15 count terrorism charges brought against him by the federal government. The appellate court, in an anonymous decision, faltered the process through which Inamdekano was brought before the Federal High Court to answer a 15 count terrorism charges. Reacting to the judgment, the Attorney General of the Federation and Minister of Justice, Mr. Boba Kamalami, Senior Advocate of Nigeria, had said the appeal court only discharged and but not acquitted Inamdekano. The appeal court ruled that the arrest, adoption, and subsequent arraignment of Mazi in Amdekano before a federal high court violated international convention on terrorism and thus robbed any court of law in Nigeria necessary jurisdiction to entertain the suit. Justice Adi Dotson, Adi Fuwoko Okeji, who read the judgment of the three-man panel noted that there was no way the federal government should it compiled with procedures for the extradition of indigenous people of Biafra leader from Kenya. Reacting to the judgment, 
the Attorney General of the Federation and Minister of Justice, Mr. Abuba Kamalame, Senior Advocate of Nigeria, has said the appeal court only discharged but did not acquit Mazi Oinunam de Kano. The appeal court ruled that the arrest, abduction, and subsequent arraignment of Mazi Oinunam de Kano by before a federal high court violated international convention on terrorism and thus robbed any court of law in Nigeria necessary jurisdiction to entertain the suit. It has also been reported that the United Nations Working Group on Arbitrary Detention and Human Rights Violation in July 2022 issued a communication to the Nigerian government demanding the release of the indigenous people of Biafra leader, Mazi Oyundu Inamdekanu, within six months of communication to pay him adequate reparations. The deadline of the communication had since elapsed in December 31, 2022, and Kano remained in solitary confinement of the Department of State Services, DSSL. Taking Nigerian's opinion, Awul Moga said he was arrested in Kenya to return to Nigeria after he, was, well, after he jumped bill. The verdict won't change anything because he must face the consequences of his action against Nigerians. Boniface Ugweze said, Consistency on the part of justice is the master key to success. Indigenous people of Biafra always wins when God protects Mazio Indu Namdekanu. Nazim Shetima said he must face the consequences of his action next time he will not try it. Sahara Belinda said Mazio Indu Namdekanu, our great prophet and leader. Ome Obina said Mazio Indu Namdekanu, a powerful man in the land of the rising. So Amechidi Ibere said, if there, if there is five of your type in this Nigeria, I'm sure Nigeria won't be in this mess as it is today. Austin Flores said, His Excellency Mazi Hinamdekanu must be released unconditionally. Mercy Achewabu said, he did not jump any bail. You have to go through, through the case, okay? Michael Anieke said, Odogu Nataba, may hello him be with you by able leader. But Ikechuku said, let's justice prevail and let those who have been derived in f of freedom and their rights due to corrupt and partial judgment be redeemed to recover, to take over what has been lost. Ekwono John Paul said, more grace to Mazi Oyindu Namdekanu. If Yegbe said, Mazi Namdekanu is a big name anytime, anywhere. It will be free soon. That will be all for now. Please don't forget to click on the like and subscribe button. And let us know your thoughts and your opinion via the comment section below. And I'll see you on the next news. Bye for now.